Have you ever wondered where paper came from? The wheel, the calendar? To understand the present, you must understand the past. Few of us truly realize the pure genius of these inventions and how they are intertwined in the DNA of today's most sophisticated technology. From ancient Babylonia, Egypt, China, Greece, and Rome, these are the inventions that shape the creations of today. The sundial is one of the most basic yet influential devices of ancient times. The sundial measures time by using a device called the gunamon at the center to measure the position of the sun. By the placement of its shadow, we can measure time. Sundials were the earliest form of time measurement, the first being obelisk, embedded in the ground in ancient Egypt around 3500 BC. Other forms of ancient sundials include those found in Greece circa 370 BC. As time progressed, soon sundials were used in many ancient cultures including Babylonia and Rome. After the sundial came the water clock, or clepsydra. The water clock was first found dated in an Egyptian pharaoh's tomb around 1500 BC and circa 125 BC in ancient Greece. What was so special about it was its ability to tell time without the use of celestial bodies. Unlike the sundial, it told time in both night and day and more precisely. It soon became the uniform a method of telling time in Greece because of this. Into the clock was the calendar. Before our present day calendar, there were many calendars, many of which were lunar calendars based on the position of the moon. However, the calendar that gave way to our current Gregorian calendar was the Julian calendar. At the height of, its, of the great Roman Empire, Emperor Julius Caesar created a calendar similar to today, using months almost identical to today's, with the addition of an extra month, Mercedonius. The calendar became very off, however, and Caesar called for a reform calendar, which would be known as the Julian calendar. It contained 366 days, however, it was off by more than 11 and a half minutes, and over centuries this caused a buildup of time. By the 15th century, the Roman calendar drifted so much that in 1563, the Council of Trent authorized a revision headed by Pope Gregory VIII. This resulted in the Gregorian calendar with stunning new accuracy. Finally, one of the most influential inventions of our ancient history is Chinese printing and paper. It was invented circa 104 AD by Tsai Lun using bamboo fibers and the bark of a mulberry tree pounded then poured into a coarse cloth and dried. This made a lightweight, easy way to make material for writing. In 589 to 906 AD, in the early Tang Dynasty, printing was invented. Though not incredibly fast and using much skill, it served as a monumental stepping stone for movable type. Movable type was invented in the 140s by P. Shang and was quicker and effective. It used blocks with one character, each with could be set and arranged into a page printed, then removed, and rearranged to create a new page. Soon cheap books became available to the public in the early Song Dynasty. This would later be adapted by Western culture. These are the creations of our past. Perhaps these crude inventions are much overlooked in today's society, but they are indeed vital to creating the stepping stones for today's technology, and they keep society running. <laughs>